Hey guys, today we're going to learn about how to get the volume of a comb. Let's kick this video off with the formula for finding the volume of a cone. So the volume of a cone is equal to pi times r squared times h over 3. Now, Whereas when you're finding the surface area of the cone, you're looking for the slant height. When you're looking for the volume of a cone, this H over here is referring to the actual height of the cone. Definitely not the slant height. So without further ado, let's try a question together. So the volume of this cone is fairly easy to get. We just need to remember the formula. Pi R squared times H over three. Now our diagram provides us with both the radius and the height of the cone. So all we have to do is plug them into our equation. Pi times two squared times four over three, which if we calculate equals to roughly 16.755 meters cubed. Nice. Let's do another question together. How can we find the volume of this cone? Well, the formula is the following. Volume of a cone equals pi r squared times h over 3. So we have the dimensions for r here, which is 3, but we know that our h is not 5 meters. And why? Ah, uh, yes, because for volume, the height is referring to the height of the cone itself. So what we can do from here is use the Pythagorean theorem to find the leg length. We have the value of a and c, so let's plug them in to get three squared plus b squared equals five squared. Then we get nine plus b squared equals 25. Isolate b squared by subtracting both sides by nine to get b squared equals 16. Let us square root both sides to get b equals four. So the height is four. Now we can get the volume of this cone easily since we have all the values for our formula. If we plug them in, we get pi times three squared times four over three. This equals roughly to 118.435 meters cubed. Good. So that's the end of our video on volume of a cone. We encourage you to try some questions and we will see you in our next one.